Hawaii no update. Kilauea lava flow expands across Kapoho Bay coast. The Kilauea volcano remains a threat on Hawaii's Big Island despite its status being downgraded to an orange warning from red. The latest warnings from Hawaiian authorities say that the volcano's lava flow is expanding through Kapoho Bay. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano continues to stream lava from its summit and associated fissures, establishing a fast-flowing channel down into the ocean at Kapoho Bay. The lava flows have created an outcrop of new land that will belong to Hawaii County or National Park in the future, but in the meantime many areas will remain uninhabitable. More than 600 homes have now been destroyed by the lava and a further 2,800 people have been evacuated as a result. A recent alert from Hawaii County Civil Defense also warned the rapidly expanding lava is extending south. Kilauea's lava flow is now extending south of the ocean entry at Vacation Land, moving towards nearby Ahalanui Park. Hawaii County Civil Defense warns the primary risk from the flow direction is not too concerning for local residents. The only threat from the volcano remains gases from the ocean entry at the bay, with gases from the fissures and damaging lays which harms eyes and lungs being thrown up as a result of the eruption. The authority advises that people near the active flow of the volcano should be weary and take heed of any future warnings. What will happen to Kilauea volcano evacuees? The Hawaii Civil Defense Authority advises that people affected by the volcano can register for disaster assistance with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The recovery is staffed with a number of people trained to give assistance to those affected by the disaster aiming to help them get back on their feet. The American Internal Revenue Service, IRS, has also aided evacuees, offering tax relief by postponing tax payments for those economically affected by Kilauea. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency said, numerous resources continue to be available to residents of Hawaii County who suffered damage or losses from the Kilauea volcanic eruption and recent earthquakes. 817 people have registered with the Federal Emergency Management Agency for assistance either online or at the Disaster Recovery Center or DRC. Hawaii State Governor David Ige has also requested additional assistance from the U.S. government, asking for a full suite of individual assistance programs. The new assistance would provide short-term shelter, crisis counseling, unemployment assistance, disaster legal services, and case management which will enable families to recover. When will Kilauea volcano stop erupting? Kilauea has been constantly erupting since 1983, and the latest activity is just a noted increase in activity rather than a completely new event. Scientists admit that the continuous eruptions mean it is not possible to tell when it will stop. U.S. Geological Survey scientist Michael Poland said, it's difficult to say with any certainty. Forecasting the end is surprisingly hard.